Part of the yearly gap reporting process involves reporting of the district's fixed assets. If a district is using state software's equipment inventory system, also known as EIS, to track their fixed assets, the gap reports, also known as gap schedules, will provide the information needed for gap reporting. The gap reports include the EIS 101 report, schedule of fixed assets by source, the EIS-102 report, which is the schedule of fixed assets by function or class. The EIS-103 report, which is the schedule of changes in fixed assets. And the EIS-104 report, which is the schedule of changes in depreciation. Fixed asset reporting is also part of the EMIS financial reporting period, period H. And the gap reports, as well as the EIS-EMS program, may be used to assist in reporting. The gap reports will include items that are capitalized, have an active status, and meet the dollar and the life limit thresholds. These are specified in DAT screen. Being on GAP means the ITC has run the EIS GAP program, which changes the GAP flag from no to yes. Behind the scenes, EIS GAP also stores the beginning balances for each item. These balances are used when running the GAP reports at fiscal year end. Also, it is important to have the GAP required fields filled in completely on the inventory items so they will, re will be reported in the correct place on the GAP reports. The required GAP fields include fund types. Fund types are stored in EIS Maint's fund screen program. Fund types are defined as G for governmental, P for proprietary, and F for fiduciary. The rest of the GAP required fields can be found in item screen. These fields include the status, active, New items, excess asset not in use, and excess asset held for sale are considered as active assets for GAAP reporting. Please note that items disposed of during the year will be included as a decrease on the 103 and 104 reports. The asset class is also a required field, as well as function, fund, the original cost of the item, the acquisition method, which can be purchased, donated, or leased. These are required for the EIS 101 report. The depreciation information. And a lease type of capital. 